All right, here's your legal warning. I am not responsible for what you do to your truck by watching my videos. If you follow my videos, your truck's likely to start blowing bubbles out the tailpipe. So, okay. So we're gonna install the piston rings now. And remember what I showed you earlier about on the box, it shows you which compartment goes on what, which part of the ring, uh, rings on the piston itself. So we got our piston ring pliers, which you don't actually need for the oil ring. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide the oil ring on here real quick. Just gonna hold it with my back finger like that and I'm gonna push that together. Okay, so it's pushed together. Now we're gonna get this one. Okay. Okay, and now that uh, the spring is now in the center of uh, the grooves of this oil ring, okay. Okay, so now that one's on there. We are going to go to the second groove ring. All right, and then that says M top on it. So we're gonna flip the piston over, put the second ring on. Boom, second ring, okay. Now we're gonna do the top ring. Top ring, like I said a second ago, there's a little M on it. We're gonna orient that towards the top. And boom. There's all three of them, and then the, we are going to get that one done. We're going to do the rest of them. Okay, so something that I noticed on uh, the oil ring here is the, uh, the little metal springy one has some white paint on it. And I'm, I'm guessing that they want that to be where your gap is on the ring. Because I would say that that's the tightest uh, area out of the whole thing. So I'm gonna guess that that's where they want that opening on that gap. Okay, so old rub and alcohol, we're back at this step and I am going to clean the mating surfaces for the, uh, shit, for the bearings. And don't spill your alcohol all over the place while you're at it. Ow, that's burning my finger. Okay, so um, the kit that I bought, um, it came with main bearings, cam bearings, and uh, connecting rod bearings. I had to buy the uh, pin bushings separately. Um, I, I think those came from DK Engines on eBay, and I think I bought their last set. But uh, So I went ahead and I checked the parts number. On all of these, they're all the same, even though the boxes are like different sizes and stuff, if you can see and tell. All right, so I'm um, pretty sure these are all already wrapped up nice and neat, so I may not have to clean these. I may just be able to put these in the rods. So let's see. So I'm sticking the notch on the bearing. That notch is getting stuck in here first. And then I'm pressing down the other side, much like that. There's one! Ah, ah, ah. You know what? I think I'm gonna be wiping the wiping them anyway. Just people these days can't be held accountable for like just doing their jobs. Like nothing nothing's right anymore, I swear. Hmm. 
And this one was actually... This one's sticky. Look. Like, what the hell? Like, why is this sticky? All right, so now we're looping up the bearings here. Um, just uh, putting a little dip in here and then spreading it with my finger. Like I'm spreading frosting on cake. I just realized that you guys might be wondering how in the hell I'm keeping track of what's going where, like as, as far as piston two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. Um, so the first four pistons right here are my driver side, two, four, six, eight. And then the second four pistons are my passenger side, which are one, three, five, seven. Okay, so first things first, um, we're gonna clean the cylinder walls uh, with a clean rag and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Um, and then uh, we are gonna oil them and I will put in the first piston. Whenever I go to put in the first piston, I'll take this off time-lapse. So uh, I'll be right back. And th that right there is why we are re-cleaning everything that before we install. Because I haven't done anything to this since I had it from the machine shop and they uh, honed the cylinders and everything. So, and then they uh, vatted the block. So there shouldn't be anything dirty about it, but there is. So that's why I'm doing this over again. So we're gonna do, uh, get a good look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do cylinder seven first. Ow. I just went and got a nice clean bowl so I could put some engine oil in it. So I'm just gonna get some on my fingers. All right, so I did engine oil and I did the Lucas on there. So that is extra slippery, a slicker and snot on a doorknob in there. Oh, and you want to, um, also, you want to get oil all over the rings. You want oil underneath them. You want them to be nice and lubed up. We need to lube the skirt of this real quick. Um, now, you want to look at the piston. The piston's going to have writing on it. The, the writing on the piston goes towards the, uh, the top of the engine. So, now, we're going to take... Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, see how they're nice and all early? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, from what I found on the internet, you're supposed to clock each ring 180 degrees from the other one, which means a half a turn away from the other ones. So if we start at the bottom ring, um, I'll do the bottom ring right there, if you can see the the piston ring gap is right here where my finger is. All right, so now the second ring, see how they're right next to each other? I'm gonna take it, move it completely opposite to the other side. So it's completely opposite on the other side. And now we're gonna take the top ring and 180 it back over here. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure that my crankshaft, the journal that this sits on is all the way at the bottom. So, Whenever I go to hammer this in, I don't have to worry about this hitting the crankshaft until I'm able to get under there with my hand and guide it. All right, so riding towards the front. Piston ring gaps are good. Okay. Okay. We got him sat on there. Let me check my piston ring gaps one more time. 
you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry. All right. Now we're going to use this uh, little tool here to tighten up the piston rings. All right. All right, now with my hand, take that off. With my hand on it, pressing down, you're going to take uh, usually a rubber hammer or a wooden end of a hammer um, and take and pop it down. And it's in. That riding is towards the top of the engine where your high pressure oil pump and your oil cooler are.